Well, the electrical grid is changing almost in a transformational manner because of the renewables. The nature of renewable electric generation is very different from the old uh, fossil, hydro, or, or nuclear power plant generation because it's uh, primarily intermittent and also not necessarily available whenever the, there's a need for that. Are there major challenges on the provision of energy in general, you know, cleaning our energy sources up. Uh, renewable energy is a key component of that, but the operational characteristics of renewable energy is a challenge to grid operators. We literally and directly solve those challenges. The Uni Energy Technologies is based here just north of Seattle. We're a private equity funded company and we're building a large scale flow battery product. To store energy in, in a flow battery, we use a vanadium electrolyte. And vanadium is a fantastic metal. It's actually the eighth most common metal in the Earth's crust. And we dissolve that in a dilute acid solution, which is mostly water. And we're able to store a lot of energy in, this, in the vanadium. And as we flow the vanadium solution, this aqueous, this water-based vanadium solution through our electrodes, we apply a voltage to it and that places the vanadium in a higher charged state. UET brings really the advance in the battery chemistry itself, the, the fundamental battery and then the packaging it into the systems you've seen in the factory in a manner that allows scaling that chemistry up to the size of a power plant. We took a chemistry that had been invented 40 years ago and were able to modify the molecule of this vanadium chemistry in a very simple way by simply replacing one water molecule with a chlorine atom. And that yielded a far more energy dense and stable molecule that has the thermal tolerance to be deployed anywhere on the planet. Our core competency is being able to deliver the high performance electrochemistry, the mechanical engineering and the power engineering for a product. To be able to use that product, we need the controls engineering to be able to make it a, a, a seamless customer interface. That's the area where we chose to go with CASM and the Siemens WinCC Open Architecture technology. Our team has been lockstep with them, not just to sell them products, but to be there uh, to help them with their application, to help them truly own their application. That relationship started one of just listening to, to what they needed to get accomplished. And then over time, it evolved to targeting what particular software package could accomplish what they needed. UET uses WinCCOA as the platform for what we call our site controller. Our site controller is a supervisory level of control in our system, and it's what aggregates all the data and control into a single location for each physical battery site. WinCC is an object-oriented SCADA solution. It's the part of a, a manufacturing process that takes automation and enables or allows the end user to contextualize and capture this runtime process, these, these data points. For every megawatt of batteries that UET deploys, we monitor over a thousand data points. We collect the data, perform analytics offline, and use that to improve our service and improve our product. We're commercializing this technology that's actually been around for about uh, about 40 years, but the Department of Energy invested a lot of money in the development of the chemistry behind it, and that's resulted in a real breakthrough in our ability to store a lot of energy in a small amount of volume. 
our batteries will provide this buffer capacity that is required to be able to optimize the use of electricity and the generation of electricity. You know, the concept of none of us are as smart as all of us comes into play. So it really does take multiple minds to, you know, become that think tank to deliver uh, the possibility that's happening now between the relationship with not only UET but Siemens and CHASM.